Join us for the following previews. Hello, hello, hello. This is Adolf, and I have with me the fantabulous Classic Jake. Hello. And the fantastical New Jake. Hello. And today we're talking about the 3D and 2D releases for November of 2021. November is here. And uh, yeah, it feels like it's both been a long year and a quick year for me. I don't know about y'all. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So let's talk about the 3D releases. Coming soon to theaters and cinemas near you. The first movie is a big one, Marvel's The Eternals. Now, we have not seen this movie yet, um, but the, the review buzz is already out. It's not that great, um, the buzz. I haven't seen any reviews because I don't want to get um, my opinion to be polluted by other people's opinions. But are you guys still hyped for The Eternals or no? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the trailer's never really sold me, but I'm still going to go see it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the, my wife was telling me, it's like, you don't really want to see this movie, though. I was like, no, but I'm obligated because of the website and because I'm a Marvel Cinematic Universe fan. So mm -hmm. I, I'm going to see this movie one way, you know, and I, I don't want to, I can't last two, three days on the internet without being spoiled, you know, for big movies yeah. like this. So yeah. we have to watch it. And it's like, okay. Because she wasn't yeah. all that into it either. But, um, you know, it might be fine. Uh, who knows? You know, our opinions sometimes really differ from the opinions of the of general theater or thinner reviews. You know, me and Classic Jake are the only people that seem to like uh, Dark Phoenix. So, who knows? Yeah. Maybe I like Dark Phoenix. Yeah, it's three of us. Okay. <laughs> and I still stand on that hill. Yeah. Now, new mutants can screw right off. <laughs> yeah, and Apocalypse can go too. I don't like that one either. <laughs> I haven't seen that one, but uh, I did. I like Phoenix quite quite well. Yeah, yeah. It it sounds like from what the buzz is on Eternals is it sounds like Chloe Zhao. It's like when Ang Lee did the Hulk movie. Mm, okay. Oh no, it's gonna be a comic book. <laughs> We shall see. I mean, that's what see. it sounds like to me. But like, you see, I'm staying away from reviews too because I don't want to be influenced. It's the first official rotten MCU movie, so that's something. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's keep going here. We got now. I'm not sure if this is a 3D release or not because we haven't seen anything saying it is or it isn't. Um, or it's Ghostbusters Afterlife um, coming out November 19th. Now, uh, one thing to note before we get further deep in, all of the movies are staying, are, have stayed in place. Uh, we were wondering if any yeah. of these movies would get delayed or pushed or everything is standing, which is kind of awesome and incredible, you know. Uh-huh. Uh, confidence is coming back. So, Ghostbusters Afterlife. I'm still positively buzzed about it. I think some reviews have come out for this, but I, I haven't paid attention to uh, what the buzz is for it. It looks better than the 2016 one. That's all I got to say. Yeah. And uh, Jason Reitman is a really good uh, filmmaker. Yeah. It's still, the, the trailers, though, make it look like a Stranger Things ripoff, though. Yeah, yeah. they're trying to make something like a uh, nostalgic, I mean, which Ghostbusters is a nostalgic classic, but they're just trying to make it more important than what it really is, which it's a comedy. It's a supernatural comedy. Yeah. All right, uh, next movie is uh, Disney's Encanto, which is November 24th. Now, we actually got a new trailer for this that has a lot more of the, the story here, um, which is basically what I thought it was going to be. Basically, she's just the main character is trying to figure out her magical abilities to save the household. Um, me, me, is it Mexican Moana, essentially? <laughs> well, I think it's supposed to be Colombian, but yeah. <laughs> or, no, sorry, Colombian. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, I think it's kind of bad. I think that's actually a pretty good analogy to that. I'm, I'm a little more excited. Yeah. Uh, it has been confirmed to be 3D release, so that's exciting. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It, it looks great. I mean, the, the yeah. animation, at least, and the story looks interesting. Yeah, it's a pity we don't get 3D trailers anymore because I was really jonesing to see this and just get a sneak of it in 3D. Yeah, me too. I was like, every time it's like, put on your 3D glasses and it's still flat trailers. I hate it. Yeah, 
And Disney is well known to making really good, if not great, 3D for their animated movies. So this should be beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. All right. The next movie here, I'm not sure if it's a 3D movie or not, but this is the first time we get to see it. Talk about it on the podcast of Resident Evil. Welcome to Raccoon City. Resident Evil. We finally have a trailer for this thing, and it looks awful. Uh Yes. (laughs) From the director, 47 meters down. What do you expect? (laughs) Yeah. This looks like a CW uh, version of uh, Resident Evil. Yeah, I mean that. It really, yeah, yeah. It looks like a high budget fan movie. Um, so it, at least it looks like Resident Evil, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it does have the Resident Evil game stuff in there, so it did try to be true to the games, but it just doesn't. It doesn't look scary. It doesn't look action packed. It just looks bland. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it actually looks worse than the Paul W.S. Anderson movies, if I could say that. That's so sad. Yeah. And we have no idea if this is a 3D movie or not, but we shall see. Probably not, honestly. (laughs) It looks too dark to be 3D. I'm actually hoping it's not, then I can ignore it. (laughs) Um, Yeah, Encanto comes out that same day. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Um, so we do got some interesting Fathom events that I wanted to throw in here. Uh, and we got Paranorman coming out November 16th. Um, Paranorman... That's that's too far away. Yeah, uh, Paranorman should have been out before Halloween, but okay, they're putting it in the 16th. Um, and it's a great movie. Leica has great stuff. Yeah, I love it. And, uh, we got some 3D Blu-rays, uh, coming out worldwide. Coming soon to 3D Blu-ray. Um, apparently, The Crude's New Age is finally getting a worldwide release, um, or getting released in different Yay. parts of the world. Um, now, yeah. New Jake, you wrote a review for this. Uh, we haven't posted it yes, yet. Yes, it is. Uh, we haven't posted okay. it yet, um, but we have it for the patrons, and I will post that soon, or I'll try to. But what's your thoughts on the Blu-ray? Oh, the Blu-ray, it's such wonderful eye candy. Uh, I would have loved to have seen that in theaters. Uh, oh, well, the 3D in theaters. I did see it in theaters for free. Um, you know, it was a cute movie, but the 3D just, it would have been so nice to see it in a theater. But COVID. And uh, Boss Baby 2 is getting a 3D Blu-ray release as well. You reviewed that. After. After I bought the stupid digital download, but yes, I'm buying the 3D Blu-ray as well. <laughs> you said that was a great Editor's Choice 3D, I think, right? Yeah, I mean, so far, it's the the top of the crop for this year. And to round things up, we got Fresh for Frankenstein. Um, <laughs> classic Jake, you know about this, right? Andy Warhol's Frankenstein movie? Oh, Yeah. Is this almost like a Giallo Italian movie, or is this just a different thing entirely? It's a parody of that kind of movie. Yeah, it was originally right. it was originally rated X. It's one of the first X rated movies I snuck into. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what an X movie is because I've known NC seventeen all my life. <laughs> uh, X uh, used to be the adult it was mostly used by porn. Right. Uh, but this was. Uh, th- this was one of the movies they argued. Uh, Midnight Cowboy was also rated mm. X, and when it won the Academy Award, the MPA got sh- they instead of changing the the filming system ratings like everybody wanted, they just re-rated the movie R because they couldn't have an <laughs> X-rated Best Picture. Yeah. When so uh, we also got some noteworthy uh, 2D releases. Um, now this one. It was really weird because it um, got an original release date in September, and then it vanished from release dates, and now it has a new release date, um, which is Clifford the Big Red Dog, coming out November 10th. Yay. It's coming out to Uh, theaters and Paramount Plus, day and day. Yeah, I'll probably watch it on Paramount Plus. (laughs) Um, yeah, it looks bad. Um, and, you know, just uh-huh. whatever. I'm, look, the only interest uh, in, anybody really had in Clifford was John Ritter. Mm-hmm. 
And other noteworthy movies here, um, there's Finch, which is Apple TV Plus movie with uh, Tom Hanks and a robot and a dog. And, like, they're going after – they're set, it's set in the future. It looks pretty cool. There's a trailer for it. Um, King Richard with uh, um, Will Smith. That looks a lot of fun. And we got one more interesting – now, hopefully this gets a 3D release. I don't know if it does or not. I just read about this earlier today or yesterday that apparently Mitchell versus the Machines is getting a, th- a, a limited 3D or limited theatrical run. Hopefully in 3D because that oh, movie, interesting. that uh-huh. movie looks great. Um, I love that movie. It, it is a lot of fun. It's on Netflix right now, but um, it's one of those things that I think it would have looked beautiful in 3D. So maybe, maybe we get lucky and that's in 3D somewhere. But um. Yeah, Metro Mitch vs. Machines is definitely worth your time if you want a Netflix family movie. It did not look good. It was used to be called Connected. It looked really mm-hmm. cliche, but it's really funny and it works. So When's it supposed to release? Um, I'm not exactly sure of the um, release date for it, but it's supposed to be this month. Um, well, maybe that will give us hope for Vivo as well, if it does well in the limited run. Yeah, I watched Vivo. Um, I liked it. It's just like the first third of the movie is very different from the last two thirds of the movie. So like you think it's a really sweet movie about a monkey and an old man, but it's actually a movie about a little girl and a monkey. And it's like, oh, okay. Um, Mm. I saw that on Netflix as well. And it's fine. It's a good movie. It's like a six, maybe, you know, I wouldn't go out of my way for it. Um, Okay. I don't remember anything there. I mean, there's some stuff that could look good in 3D, but um, I don't think it would have been that great. Um, right. So, um, yeah, November. Um, I think it's going to have a pretty decent month for us. And, you know, try to get your um, COVID third shot if you haven't already. Um, be safe out there. Uh, movie studios have been doing, making some good money in the box office. So movies are coming back in a big way. All right, uh, Mitchell's versus Machines is scheduled to come out November twenty first and twentieth. Okay. So yeah, um, that's gonna be it for us. Bye. Bye. Before this podcast wraps up, I want to thank my patrons. Thank you, Kano three D, Mister Bengal five, and Kevin Winter for your financial support on Patreon dot com. So that's gonna be it for this podcast. Thanks for listening. You can find 3D or 2D on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Pinterest, Instagram, and more. Just look for 3D or 2D. Links are in the info box. If you want to send us listener mail, our email address is email 3 d or 2 d at gmail.com. Thank you for either listening or watching this podcast. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone.